Hi there, this is Danny from Danny's Loom, and today I'll be showing you how to make this charm. I made it up, I call it the Baby Squid Charm. And um, for the eyes, just so you know, you don't have to have beads. I, I used um, black bands instead, and this is my design, and I made it up with my friend Grace. So credit goes to both of us, and um, the c I used one color. I just used um, I can't I can't remember what the color is, but you know it was black. It, it was um, orange and yellow on the same band, so you know kind of dotted. I don't know the, what the scientific name for it is that they actually made up, but let's get started. Today I will be using a sparkly orange and black bands for the eyes. So first what you're going to do with your loom in the standard position with the arrows facing away from you, the red arrows, you're going to take your first band which will be the color of just the skin of, of the squid not the eyes but before you do that before you actually put it on anywhere on your loom you'll grab your hook and you'll grab two black bands and these bands will be the eyes and what you'll do is you'll wrap it around your hook three times one two and three and you'll push it down then you'll wrap this around your hook three times one two three now you'll take you'll use that color the skin color stretch it out on the hook and take those bands off which yeah, which I find difficult so anyway you'll do that and make sure that you take them both off so that it works whoops which did not work yes yeah, so if that happens just wrap it around again and you'll do that take it off and then you take it off make sure that you don't take off the other band so yeah Yeah, so, um, and this bit is a bit hard, so if, if you find it hard, just hold the hook with your knees, that's what I usually do, but can't do it in the video, and you'll slide that down, then you'll put the pit that is in your hand on the hook, and we'll save that for later. So, now we'll grab the actual skin color of our um, baby squid, and we'll put it from that pin to that pin, like that. Then, we'll put it from that pin to that pin, usually with the same color. That pin to that pin now. So it's sort of half of a, of a hexagon, or yeah, hexagon. Then you'll take the same color, if you want it to be for the skin, and you'll put it from there to there. And you'll put it from there to there. Like that. Then there to there. Now you'll put the band from there to there. I'm going to push it down, sorry. Now, there to there. There to there. And we'll push it down. 
Now what you'll do is you'll grab the same color, unless you want to do different color. You'll put it from that pig to that pig. And then you'll put it from that pig, that pig to that pig. So like that. That pig to that pig. Push that down. And that pig to that pig. You will now put this from this pig to this pig. And we finish placing the bands. Now we will start hooking. Turn your loom around so that the arrows are now facing toward you. First you'll grab the eye, the eye band that we did, take it off there, and put it on your two fingers, just like you're going to do a single chain. Like that. Now you'll put this side onto that pin that peg there, and this side onto that peg there. Now make sure that the two eyes are on the other sides from each other. difficult like it is for me at the moment but as you make more of this charm things will get easier right I gotta do this again so just to rem as a reminder to, so you know how to do it you wrap it around three times one two three and then you grab the other one. Oops, okay, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Grab the other one. One, two, three. And once again, we'll take them off. Now I'm going to do this the way I usually do it with my knees. So you won't see me do it, but it's way easier with your knees. Just do it with your knees. So, yeah. And, um, while you're doing that, while I'm doing this, I'm just going to tell you about, about um, this baby squid charm. Um, I made it up when I was trying to make a, b a fish charm for my friend Grace. Um, I made it up when I was trying to make a fish charm. Because honestly, I wouldn't have known how to do it. I still don't know how to make a fish charm. And that, so a fish charm might be my third next video. And, and I will stop and get back. Um, I am back and I put the eyes on and separated them. So yeah. Now you'll grab a band of the same color as the, as that part, the tail. And you'll grab a cat band. So what you'll do, two fingers on each one, twist figure eight, and just put it back on there. And then you'll put it on that last peg there. Now we will have to do the hooking. Very difficult process. What you'll do is with your hook, you'll reach underneath the bands. You'll hook up like that. And then you'll do it again. Hook up. Put it onto there. Hook up. 
and put it onto there. Now you reach under here, hook up, put it onto there, under here, put it onto there. Now this bit is the, probably the hardest bit because you gotta reach under all these bands, which is difficult. Um, but this is this is a difficult charm. And put it on there. Um, and there, there, under, and there. Now we'll do it here. We we'll put to there. And make sure that when you do this, you ignore that the that band. So just reach under that band. Loop that. And loop that. Under that. Make sure you go under it, or it, or it won't work. There. Now you'll reach your um sorry it's caught in there reach your hook under there under all those bands and you'll put a different colored band i usually put a blue one and then i cut i know i usually put um like this murky colored one it's in my blue section but i put it in there and then i cut it and it makes it kind of look like it's squirting ink or something. And like, and put it on there. Sorry if I did that a bit quick. And then we'll push it to the big part of your loom. And then you just take it off. Take everything off. And if that should have worked, which it did. And there's three. And there you go, your adorable little squid. Now, to make the knot, you'll just, that bottom, that bottom one on your hook, you'll just take it, take it off and stretch it. And make sure that the knot is securely tied before you take it off your loom. And there you go, the adorable baby squid. It does not look good in these colors, but you know, you can use any color you want on it, and it's very cute to like hang it up in your room, or you can sell them. So yeah. Thanks for watching this this episode of Danny's Charms and Watsits. I'll see you next time when I tell you how to make a snake charm out of balloon bands.